The first of the four variables that shape a company's marketing mix we will consider is product. The products that a firm produces and sells to its customers. There is a reason we want to start with the product variable. So far, we talked about marketing research, market segmentation, choosing a target market, and the psychology of customers. All these lessons led us to the conclusion that firms must listen actively to the market. They have to understand customers in their target market, and if they do that, then they will know what type of products will win these customers. There are two main types of products that can be offered to clients, goods and services. The difference between the two is that goods are of tangible nature, products such as Apple iPhones and Tesla cars, while services are of intangible nature, a haircut or a lawyer consultation. Whether we talk about goods or services, we can say, usually, people are not just buying a product that solves one of their basic needs. They acquire the benefits and satisfaction they believe they'll obtain from the product. They're interested in symbols and ideas that help them relate the product to a desired lifestyle and positive expectations about the future. Marketers understand that and try to incorporate these ideas when developing a product concept. When a person buys a Rolex, they want to tell the time, but they're also interested in wearing the watch as a testament to their status and wealthy lifestyle. McDonald's is a chain of fast food restaurants, but the company's goal is to create a customer perception that associates its products with happy family times, children happiness, pleasant surprises, and good times. Starbucks doesn't just offer coffee as many other shops and chains do. It transforms the whole coffee drinking experience, offering high quality coffee drinks, plenty of choice, and excellent service to its customers. People love drinking their coffee in Starbucks, and often, it becomes one of their favorite times of the day. Customers do not simply buy products because they satisfy their needs. Instead, they're interested in becoming clients of firms that offer them a complete product concept, an idea of a promise, if you will. The best products make people happier and create a positive expectation before being consumed.